Hello everyone, this is Legiony, and today I want to talk about sweat. Sweaty, sweat, sweat. Now, before I tell you a bit about my new squad, I've built a look at my previous squad, the guys we picture, I used to play with, the likes of Balotelli, Hernandez, Torre, and being the 451, it worked pretty well for me. But I did notice that I was also losing a lot more than I used to. And in the end, I, I, might, I, I did sell um, Eden Hazard, Podolski, Balotelli, and some others because I just cannot play with them. On paper, they look like a BPL dream team, but in reality, it's it's completely different. A lot of teams I'm up against does have some sweaty players or formations in that matter, and then um, so in the end, I decided to join the bandwagon. So overall, I made a drip sweaty bastard of a team. My formation is five two two one, so we park in the bus mostly, and I'd most likely be good on counter attacks and go all sweaty on the opposing team. Now let's start off with the defense. I have Everett in LWB, or LB, or you're going to call it, because although he's very pacey, he's also pretty strong as well for, yeah, he's pretty strong, so overall, he's a really, yeah, he's a really good defender, but I would prefer to have Macon, but I don't have the money. Now, my central defenders are Company, Louise, and Consigli, and they are just the dog's bollocks. If you have a striker trying to shoot, just be warned, because these three are like a brick wall. I mean, Company is a little bit expensive, about 30, 40k, I think, but he is just in that tank. And uh, same with the other two. Now, for my RWB, I do have a sweaty, pacey player called Walker, which he is just an animal. Now, not so much defending, I will say, but it's just his pace, which drives me orgasmically crazy, which he's basically linked up to, uh, I think it's DRB and Walcott, which are also quick. Well, not Flaney. No, not DRB, I mean. Now, moving on to my two midfielders, as well as strikers. My two centre mids, easily, without a doubt, is Flaney and DRB. They are so OP and they make interceptions look like so fucking easy. And if it weren't for these two particular midfielders, then I'd probably lose a lot more now. But uh, yeah, now on to my OP strikers. Walcott, definitely. The fastest player in the game. He is such a sensation to dominate counter-attacks and having been linked up with Kone, which also feels like a 90 pacer, even though he, it doesn't say statistically. Um, he does add to the sweatiness of my team. Now, my main man, of course, is Monkey Man Gareth Bale. Excluding his pace and shots, he has also got strength like a ball. Now, what I like about him, he can knock defenders over like they are ping pong balls. And these three attackers are absolutely pure, pure gorgeous and pure sweaty. But, uh, you know, my alternatives as well, just in case these sweaty bastards uh, decide to get an injury or get tired. I do have, you know, Yay Torre, I have Storage. He's absolute tank as well, Storage. I have Sincesini, or Sincini, I don't know what his fucking name is. Uh, Ramirez, Ben Arthur. I mean, I do have the dog's bollocks of sweatiness at going and pure pace. But, uh, like I said, you know, if you want to join the bandwagon, of course, just do it. But, uh, of course, my team is a little bit expensive as well for the likes of Lorries, which is also a tank of a goalkeeper. Bale, obviously. Uh, Company is also quite expensive. But if you have the coins, definitely get them, and it makes games a lot more easier, you know. FIFA is designed the way you want to play it, and if you want to play sweat and pure sweat, why can't you? I'm Legion, and thanks for sweating out this video. Whew, quite a lot of sweating on there. Hey guys, my name's Legion. Thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, YouTube, and subscribe. Bye!